The murder of Carol Maltese. On March 20th, a passerby in northern Italy saw a hand with purple glitter nail polish on it. Following that, he discovered a mangled body in a ditch, which had been sliced into 15 parts, frozen, and wrapped in garbage bags. The body belonged to a former porno diva named Carol Maltese. Who killed her, and why? Hello and welcome to Bad Things. Today, we will tell you about the most recent, heinous murder of an Italian adult star, Caro Maltese. Who was Caro Maltese? Caro Maltese, also known on stage as Charlotte Anchi, was identified as half Italian and half Dutch. She was a resident of Frascaldina, a municipality in Lombardy's metropolitan city of Milan. The 25-year-old Milanese was well known in the adult market, but she didn't have a long career in the profession. Before the COVID-19 lockdown, she worked as sales assistant at a perfume boutique. When she lost her job during the pandemic, she began posting explicit content on OnlyFans, which helped her gain exposure in the pornographic community. She also had a six-year-old daughter to support. Investigation. On March 20th, a passerby found her body, which was frozen and cut in 15 parts. As reported, his first attention was drawn to her hand with well-painted nails. The investigators were unable to identify the body as the face had been burned. Many questions about her identification arose as a result of her charred face. Investigators, however, could tell her body was well preserved after her death and placed in a freezer before it was disposed of. Moreover, they disseminated information about her body which included 11 tattoos. Key progress. Fortunately, Angie had 11 unique tattoos on her body and seven of them were still intact when she was discovered in an unidentified state. Authorities then attempted to match the tattoos to any known images and issued a missing persons notice. According to the reports, step by step was tattooed on her ankle, elegance is the was inked behind her back and she had other phrases tattooed on her collarbone. Andrea Tortelli, an investigative journalist, was said to have identified Angie's body. He was one of Angie Charlotte's fans. He did not inform the police immediately after learning about the tattoos. Instead, he sought the victim's family for confirmation. He took things even further and got her WhatsApp number. He contacted Angie and received responses before requesting a voice message from her to prove her identity. When that did not happen, he allegedly turned to the police. The killer. Investigators were able to discover the perpetrator of the heinous murder. Once a name was identified, for the shredded body stuffed into four black rubbish bags and thrown into an escarpment in Palinia de Borno, in the upper Val Comenica. The murderer was the victim's next door neighbor. After discovering discrepancies in his story, authorities seized Davide Fontana, a 43-year-old bank employee from Milan, at 4.23 a.m. on Tuesday, March 29th. The huge freezer and the identical rubbish bags were discovered at his residence by the cops. Furthermore, his DNA was detected on the victim's body, proving his guilt. Backstory. According to the reports, the murder took place on the 10th or 11th of January, when he was filming two violent sex tapes with Angie when things went wrong, resulting in her death. He said, We went up to the bedroom, where a lap dance pole is installed. I tied the girl's wrist to the pole with duct tape and a black plastic bag over her head. The horrific incident was recorded on his phone, but he later deleted it. However, forensic specialist might be able to recover it. After she died, he brutally assaulted her, sliced her neck, and dismembered her body into 15 pieces, which he then placed in the freezer. Three days after the incident, he stuffed her body parts into three garbage bags and abandoned them in the Borno Highlands, Brescia. After the incident, Fontana maintained a regular presence on her phone and continued to pay her rent to maintain the illusion that she was still alive. He texted her friends and family informing them of her decision to leave Hard World. He even had a sexual conversation with her Dutch boyfriend. In his confession statement, he said, I started hitting her with a hammer all over her body, not hard. Then when I got to her head, I started hitting her hard. I'm not sure why. I don't know what happened to me. I think she was already dead, but not knowing what else to do, I cut her throat with a kitchen knife. Aftermath, Davide Fontana was charged with first degree aggravated murder, dismemberment, and concealment of a corpse. Stay tuned to social media for updates on this case, and do share your thoughts on the court hearing for this heinous murder case.
It's a heartbreaking situation since Kara was a single mother with a little child. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for more bad things. Until next time, take care.